Okay, in this video, we're going to use the TI-30XA to do powers and roots. Okay, let's do the square root of 8. Now here, when you draw a square root, it has an index automatically of 2. The calculator will also be a square root in this case with an index of 2. So we're going to type in 8 and then press the square root button and we get 2.828. Okay. Let's try the third root of 1.81. In this calculator, we have to put 1.81 first. Then here in the yellow or green, you uh, next to the y to the x key, you press second y to the x, right? After you put 1.8, and then to the third. Um, to the third root. So in this case, the answer is 1.218. Okay. Okay. Um, we can also do something like the fifth root of one half, right? So this one, and for this calculator, right, we're going to press the on button. Here, you can see there is no um, um, well, there is an ABC button, okay? I was thinking of something else. But um, 1 ABC 2, which is a fraction, right? Then second Y to the X, and then you press 5 equals, and you get 0 0.8705, all right? So you can't put uh, fractions in square roots if you need to. Sometimes you have to do a little bit more math, like 3 take away the fourth power of 8. Okay. So in this case, it's going to be 3 take away, right? 8 second y to the x, 4 equals and you get an answer of 1.3182. Now the number, the, the numbers, uh, how many numbers you put after the decimal place, you have to talk to your teacher about that. Okay. Um, then let's get into, um, let's, let's get into a, um, a little more like the square root of 12 plus the square root of 27, right? So you say, 12 square root plus 27 square root equals, and you will get an answer of 8.660, okay? That gives you an idea. Um, how about something like um, um, negative, right? This, uh, the fifth root of 16, right? The fifth root of 16 divided by, right, 14. Okay, so we know that the answer here will be negative. So what we can do is we'll put the 16 first, then second y to the x to the fifth root equals. Then we'll put a negative sign next to it, which is right here, okay? So that's this here, divided by, divided by 14 equals, we get negative 0 0.124, all right, perfect. Okay, let's do some uh, powers now, uh, things like 3 squared, we know that, 3, and then we go squared, right, automatically you don't even have to press equals, 9, gives you an answer of 9. 9 to the 5th power, right? So we put 9, y to the x, 5, equals, and that gives you 59049, right? 59,049. Okay. Um, let's do something like um, negative 4, 
right? Um, times, let's say, 3 to the second power, right? So we go 4 negative times 3, and then we do the squared equals negative 36, which sounds about right, okay? Um, when we have something like negative, let's say, 5 squared, what do we got? So we press in 5, we put negative, and then we square it, it's going to give you 25. And if you go 5, negative, y to the x, and put a 2, which is squaring, you still get 25. Why is that interesting? Because if you can do something like 7, take away 5 squared, right? This is going to be different because you press 7. This is a takeaway. 5 squared equals, that's going to give you negative 18. So this subtraction, 5 squared, this is not a negative 5 squared. Okay? So, you, so this calculator will make a negative 5 squared, right? This is almost as if it was negative 5 times negative 5 on this calculator. All right? So you got to be aware of that. Um, let's say, um, let's say you got 2 to the negative 3. How do you do that? So that's going to be 2, y to the x, 3, negative, equals and that's going to give you 0 0.125. This is going to be 1 over 2 thirds, right? This negative 3 is going to go below, and that's 1 over 8, and 1 divided by 8 is 0.125. Um, um, yes, you could do it like, let's say, uh, 2 to the power of 3 equals, right? And then you can do 1 over x, Right, and then gives you the answer, 0.125. Uh, let's say you had something like 3 to the 1 fourth, okay? That's the same as the fourth root of 3. And this is one of the reasons why powers and roots are, are together. Um, as you can see, things that have fractions here are really roots. So here, right, we can do it either way. So on this one, we can go 3, y to the x, right? Uh, 1, abc4 equals, that gives you 1.316. And this one, we go 3, second, y to the x to get the green, then 4, the fourth root, equals, same answer, 1.316, okay? Same answer, same results. Okay, this one, let's see, uh, 2 thirds over 5 squared to the second power. Hmm. Um, so if we go 2, y to the x, 3, equals, that's important, so we got an 8, divided by, divided by 5 squared, 5, let's say squared here, right, that automatically presses equals, we got this, right, and we press division already, equals, that's going to give me um, 0.32, and we need to square it, Right, we need to square it, and that gives me 0 0.1024. Yes, many steps. Could we do it in one step? I don't know. If we go 2 to the power of 3, right, equals, and then ABC. See, it doesn't do ABC, does it? Because it doesn't give you the little stick, so we can't do it that way. Um, you have to do it step by step, unfortunately. Um, 
because this is not an algebraic calculator, like something like the FX300ES, or even this one, the, the higher end TI, the TI36X Pro can do it, okay? Um, so you have to do it piece by piece, like I was doing here. That should give you a better understanding how to do roots and powers, right, with the TI30XA. Uh, if you like this content, please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please tell your teacher. There's a lot more things in this channel. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great semester and bye-bye.